hizo. All right, cool. In this module, we're going to talk about the sort of golden triangle of email marketing strategies, three that you really need to know about. The first strategy is about engaging your existing audience. So there are two critical uses of re-engagement. The first one is this. When somebody becomes a customer or a user, etc., you have to re-engage them within the first 90 days. That's because research shows that companies underinvest here. But think about this. This is a new customer. If you engage them within that first 90 days, they're much more likely to stay a loyal customer. The second use is to go to your email server and look at who has not opened your recent blasts. Create a new segment and then create a special campaign for them. At one point, these people really cared about your organization. All right, the second strategy is to automate key events on your website or on your mobile platform with emails. Here are some examples of triggers that could launch an email. Somebody becomes a new user. People get close to converting. Maybe they put something in their shopping cart and then they abandon it. Make everything have a receipt. They download a piece of content. They unlock a new feature. They upgrade. All those should have receipts. Or if somebody has signed up for events, let them know about the event ahead of time. Send a couple emails then and then do some recaps of the event. And then in these receipt emails, you want to make sure that you're connecting the content, etc., with your growth goals. All right. Number three, use drip email marketing to basically nurture the customer along automated over a certain period of time. Here's a sample structure. Let's say that somebody goes to a landing page. They opt in. Then on the first day, they're going to get a receipt for opting in. Then let's say on the second, two days later, and then maybe five days later, they get two educational announcements that tell them you know, about what they get maybe because they've now opted in. And then let's say on day eight of this drip structure, they, you, you let them know something like in a couple of days, you're going to get a special offer. And then let's say on day like 11, you make, you know, a sales offer to them, you know, join now and you get a certain percentage off or whatever. And then let's say on day 14, three days after you've made the sale pitch, you remind them, hey, this offer that I made to you, it's still valid, but it's going to end pretty soon. Now, that's one use case of drip email marketing, but you can really do this for almost any event. You just want to make sure that it's relevant to your business case. But research shows that these drip structures are very, very effective, up to 18 times more effective than just sending a one-time email. So in summary, businesses with existing customers should definitely invest in retaining and activating their existing audience. An event-triggered email marketing is an excellent way to automate interactions with your community. And drip email programs are a great way to give specific personas what they need to move down your funnel. 